today we are out for a bit of an explore, a bit of a walk around <laughs> Kuala Lumpur. We are currently in the Pradanda Botanical Gardens. We think it's pronounced like that. I think so. And it's really, really nice. It was free to get in, so we're just going to go for a walk around here. Yeah, we're really looking forward to today as well because we're actually meeting up with a new friend called Jack. We're hopefully going to go check out some tropical birds, get some good grub around the city and just have a wee bit of a walk and explore around. Hey little guy. We're actually having such a wicked time. It is so, so nice. And it's so nice that there's so many green areas around the city here as well. Yesterday we went and checked out the KLCC park. And today this is a completely different park we're in. And there's just so many of them around the city. We couldn't believe it that there's so much greenery in such a big built up city. Just amazing to see. But we've just come to the centre of the park and there's this massive roof completely covering the whole centre of the park. And it's kind of shaded, but it is so, so nice just to walk underneath because it's so much cooler than walking through the middle of the park. And we're just not getting that direct sunlight anymore because it is now midday and peak heat. So I'm so, so thankful for the shade. And Ashley's really happy about it too because she is definitely going to burn today. <laughs> We've been in KL now for a few days and it is just so, so impressive. The buildings are so, so tall, but it's nice to just kind of get away from it and go for a walk in the parks here. We've seen quite a few parks, the main one being KLCC right in front of the towers. But today we're a wee bit more outside of the city and it has just been so lovely and there's been hardly anyone in the park the whole time we've been here. So we're planning to meet up with Jack today and I think he's in the park somewhere close by, but we still have to find him. Hey! <laughs> so this is Jack and Jack is very kindly giving us a tour around Kuala Lumpur today. So we are still very new and getting used to it, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking these guys around, um, taking them around KL. We're sharing our YouTube tips and um, yeah, just trying to both grow our channels. So. I'm leaving these guys' links to their channel in my description. And, and we're guys, doing the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this park actually has a lot going on inside it. We're heading now over to see some deer, some wild deer that are hopefully in the park as well. Then hopefully there's also a full area where there's a lot of wild and tropical birds. So we're really looking forward to checking them out, seeing some fun, cool and colourful birds as well. You giving him a little water? <laughs> Come on buddy, we know you need water. Oh man, the deer are so so cool here, but we do feel a wee bit bad for them as well. There's quite a few of them tucked into like this wee small kind of caged in area in the park here. Wasn't really what we thought they were going to be. We thought they were going to be like wild deer running around in like a big field area. So we felt a wee bit bad for them, but they did look healthy enough as well. So it was pretty nice. So we were just walking around the park here and we actually found a bird sanctuary but once we got up to the ticket office it was 75 ringgit per person so that's definitely a lot dearer than what we were thinking it was going to be so I think we're going to give this one a miss and hopefully try and find something cheaper to do in the city. We have just got out of our taxi here and we got the taxi the whole way over to the KL Tower here which is literally right behind me and is absolutely massive. So we're going to go in here and see maybe can we get up to the top if it's within our price budget that is because we're expecting it maybe to be a bit pricey but we think we'll be able to do it. But we just had the most interesting taxi ride and taxi driver as well. The fellow was a grab driver and a police officer working the same shift at the same time. So it turns out there's a massive issue with like drugs going on in the city and he's working as a taxi driver but he's also a police officer doing some like undercover work or something like in between the two jobs it was just a full crazy situation that has blew our mind super interesting guy super interesting story and just we just couldn't believe the things he was telling us as well so that's just blew our minds we're going to go check out the tower here see what it's like and then maybe pick up some lunch after 
Massive. Okay, we've just come into like the KL Tower here as well, and we were debating and going up to the very, very top to get a full 360 view of the whole city. And yet again, we're a bit priced out of it. It was like 75 ringgit to get to the very top of the tower, which is like 15 plus quid nearly. Like so, it was a wee bit more than what we kind of thought, no, even more than what we wanted to pay. So yet again, unfortunately, we're priced out of something from the day because we are trying to do our trip here on a budget as best as possible. So yeah, it's a wee bit unfortunate. So we're gonna go check out something else now I think maybe even grab a wee bit of food first and then see where the day takes us from there right guys so we've just stopped off at um, a little local place here near the tourist attractions which we've seen a set but we've just got a basic fried rice but it actually looks pretty in depth and good so we're just gonna give this a try it's got chicken egg vegetables so we'll get a bite with all of it oh wow Piercing. Mm. Mine's just landed oh, yeah, I just picked up this as well. We have a Hong Mi Yu, I think it's called. Noodles with a bit of prawn, a bit of tofu, chicken, an egg, and a few other things I'm not sure of, but it looks unreal, so we're gonna tuck in. Yeah. Mine's really nice and hot as well. We were just waiting for the past five minutes for this meal. Yeah, it took it's a while. It's still, still so hot. <laughs> it's beautiful. So, um, yeah, let's dig into this and um, then go and have some fun. Aye, aye. So we're just finished up lunch, we're super full, it was really tasty, but now we're going to check out KL Tower. The prices of the tickets were a wee bit more than what we were expecting, but we actually went online and got a good deal online. So it is worthwhile again to check around, see what other offers you can find. So we're going to head up now, I'm not too sure, I think it's just an observation area, but we'll go and check it out anyway. It's so big! We can actually see this tower from our place as well, from the rooftop pool and the accommodation we're staying in. And at night time it constantly changes colour, it is crazy. One second it'll be blue, then it'll be yellow, red, and then it goes like an insane rainbow colour. So we're looking forward to checking it out because it was one of the things we did want to see when we're here in KL as well. There's also at the very top a full 360 rotating restaurant, which we would love to go to, but we know for a fact Daphne will be priced way out of our budget and the food's probably too fancy for what we're after as well. But a very, very cool thing to go and see as well. <laughs> My ears are popping. <laughs> Malaysia promoting ginger people across the world. Woo! Got the ginger. Ginger for life, man. Eh? <laughs> this is so cool. So this is going to be the second tallest building in the whole world that they are still building. Very impressive. So back and more fun facts. I love a good reading and a good sign. So according to this, there's a lovely building out here that is very architectural, it's very, very nice. And it's like the main opera house theater and place for concerts and events in the whole of the city. I learned where the king lives in some temple, kind of castle -y thing way over there. History with Owen. So Owen just loves learning random new facts and anywhere that has something to read or learn about, he wants to find it. So he's running around the whole building now trying to find more of these stickers to see what else he can see and what else he can learn about. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the tower that we're currently inside, and it says it's 421 meters, and I think the really what was the Menaha, Menraha, Menraha tower. We'll go for that one. <laughs> Give me a boogie jack. <laughs> Rocking it. <laughs> So we could actually see this building from our hotel, so we've been walking around for about five minutes now trying to find our hotel, and it's right over there. We've just found it. It's, no, I've lost it again. Way over there. <laughs> and right here is where we went to the rooftop pool the other night. How amazing. So we've already made the decision that we're gonna stay in KL for like two weeks or so. So if you have any recommendations or any places that you think we should check out, leave a comment below and let us know. In terms of view, this is probably like the best view of like a city and a skyline that we've had in Malaysia so far. It is insane. The place is so built up, so industrial looking, but there's also so, so much greenery around the city, so many parks, which is amazing to see. But we just can't believe the view. It is absolutely outrageously beautiful and just massively, massively developed. What a spot and what a place. So during our travels, we have visited the tallest tower in 
Bangkok, which was the McKenna home building, and it was really, really good. There was like a sky deck, which like it was just a glass floor that you could look down. But in terms of a view over the city, I think this one definitely tops it, to be honest. I would say this is way better, to be honest. <laughs> I think there's just so much more to like check out from up here. There's, there's yeah. so many buildings, there's so much to just look at. And like we kind of decided that we didn't want to check, go actually into the Twin Towers building yeah. because they're they're the thing you want to see. Yeah. So from here, you get a great view of them. Absolutely. And like we can see the Twin Towers building from the rooftop in the place we're staying. And we're like, that's the view we want. Yeah. And we're like, when we're inside the buildings, like I don't know how much we're going to see out of it as such plus it was a lot more expensive as well so we're so glad with the decision of coming here and it's just amazing but I would say definitely we would much rather this viewpoint than the viewpoint over Bangkok skyline in the city as well this is just way more impressive and just such an amazing amazing view Okay, so Jack was actually in the Twin Towers as well, the part that we didn't go to. So I'm interested to see what his comparison is with this one and that one. So like, what did you think comparing them? Yeah, so I think this one's a lot better value for money. Um, okay. You can go straight up, there's not much security or anything. At the other tower, you had to run your bags through security. The other tower was 80 ringgit, this one's 30. So even less than half the price. And here you can stay for as long as you want. The Twin Towers, you did get to go to two levels, which was kind of cool, but you only had 10 minutes at the first level and 20 minutes at the second. Not um, a lot of time. Not a lot yeah, of time. Lot. So, I mean, if you're a family and you need to buy like five tickets, then you're better off coming here for sure. Absolutely. Glad we chose here. Yeah. <laughs> So after like a hundred laps of the top of this, we are finally going back down to the bottom and maybe gonna go find a market. We'll wait and see. <laughs> we have just come down from the towers here and we had an absolutely wicked time. They are so cool. The view is absolutely amazing and we're so glad we done them. We're not gonna go check out the market unfortunately though because the thunder is getting really loud and we think it's gonna rain, but we have had a wicked day here walking around the city with Jack and just having a wee bit of a tour as well. Jack has been here for like a lot longer than us, so it has been clash is getting a bit of a, a bit of a showing around the city as well. Make sure to check out his channel, we'll link it up here as well. It's Jack Tour. He's been on the road traveling now for from February? Yeah, from February. February, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. quite a while. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going until my money runs out. And by the looks of it, I'm starting to get paid from YouTube, so it's Wicked. full steam ahead right now. So. so it's all good, all sailing well, all going well. So thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed. If you did, we would love it. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully we'll see you again. See you.